Now I'm gonna prove it to you guys that it's glass. Check this out. Crease it as much as I can until it will break. There we go. We got a back pocket and we miss. I'm gonna drop it face down. YouTube, how's it going? It's me, The Cool Loser. In today's video, I got something to share with if you have a Galaxy S7 that you wanna protect and you still haven't decided to protect your slippery, expensive phone. I got two things. We got a case and we got a flexible glass. So first, let me tell you about the flexible glass. On my left side, we have the screen flex which feels like plastic, and it is flexible. Now, on my right side, we have the normal tempered glass, but it's not meant for flexing, so I'm gonna hit the corner here, just to show you that it is glass. This actually has shards on there, so if your kids or your finger ends up hitting them, you're really gonna get cut. This is the type that we don't wanna be using. We can't flex it because it breaks, as you can see there. I'm trying not to get myself cut. Um, look at trying to bend it and it's just crackling because it's not a flexible glass. <laughs> Look at that thing. But it's still a better alternative than using plastic. Now the flexible screen flex. I'm going to bend and check it out. No break. This thing is, you know, rolling almost like a piece of paper. Now I'm gonna prove it to you guys that it's glass. Check this out. Crease it as much as I can until it will break. There we go. Just now broke. That is so much of a fold. When it breaks, it's going to not shatter around like it did on the old tempered glass. I am running my hand on the glass and it's not cutting me. Not only is this better, but it's thinner. It works with 3D touch and scratch proof. Let's fold it hot dog style. And look at that. This is folding so much. What glass will do that without breaking? So I'm gonna go until it really wants to crack. There we go. No shards, no nothing. You're gonna be protected. And if it does end up breaking, you'll still be able to use the screen protector longer until you really need to replace it. I obviously can't use this anymore, but I'm gonna keep breaking it here completely in half. It is unreal that this is actual glass. Now let's take a look of the differences here. As you saw, I flexed this guy way more. This guy can just keep bending and bending and no shards are coming off of it. I'm you know, rubbing my hand all over it. I will not do it on this one because you can feel all the sharp edges. You can see the difference. So tell me, which do you prefer to have on your brand new Galaxy S7? Regular tempered glass, non-flexible, or screen flex flexible? Great choice. Okay, so what we want to do is use the wet wipe. Wet it up, and then you get your dry one. Just dry it up. Step one, step two, remove the red. So this is gonna be the sticky side. Just kind of crease it a little bit. Then I kind of mask it around here. So then I start grabbing this end, and I slowly start peeling away. The bubbles, try to work them out ahead of time. If not, then they will take a little while to get out. Once you're done, just peel the last sticker on top of it off. And there you go. Yeah, flexible glass exists, in case you didn't know. What better way to protect your phone? Now let's talk about that case for your S7. It's drop proof, military tested sound enhancer, precision cut screen protection, free plastic screen protector. Personally, if you wanna step it up a little, you would wanna go with the screen flex. You might already own a Galaxy S6 or S7, and that phone is very slippery to hold, but what better yet to put one in a case to protect it fully and get more grip to it. So this is the case of what it looks like. It has a metallic look. Let's press on the button. Presses in just fine. So again, this is a shockproof case for those big drops that you'll be doing. Full solid color all the way around. All the cutout ports are precisely cut. Everything is accessible to plug in your headphones and your micro USB charging. And you will see right here that has a little lip. I'll show you why that little lip is there. The lip right here is for sound enhancement. Instead of having the sound shoot all the way down, you know, away from you, this will direct the sound towards your face so you're not, you know, having to cup it. If you're gonna cup your phone, you can actually have it already cup it for you shooting forward. Here on the next scene, I risked my sister's Galaxy S7 because it's not mine, but I really wanna test to see if it's gonna protect the phone if it ever dropped, and I dropped it several times and nothing happened to it. So you're gonna get protected really good. I stick it out and I drop it. Um, and, it. and it's gonna be perfectly fine. As you can see here, nothing. This thing is protected on the sides. We will see that it's raised a little bit so it's not gonna hit the glass first. We got a back pocket and we miss. I'm gonna drop it face down. 
gonna drop it forward. I'm gonna drop it sideways. There we go. Protect and keep it that nice and fresh. So there you guys have it. This is the Shock Express here at Caseco. Thank you for watching. And there you guys have it. Protect your Galaxy S7 with a Screen Flex and a Shock Express. If you want one for yourself, you know what to do. Go in the description down below, click on caseco.ca, get yourself protected. Great company that I recommend. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Later.